All right, so we're going to start on with question one on the first worksheet. Uh, and this question has to do with the density of a safe. So I'm going to just call it density of a safe. And the first question is actually just asking us, uh, can we find the average density of this safe? Um, so we know that our average density is equal to the total mass of an object divided by the total volume of that object. Right? Um, and so usually, uh, you know, the total mass, what is our safe made of? Well, it's made of uh, some iron uh, and it's made of some air. Uh, and we're just going to divide that by the total volume of the safe. Um, so one thing that we're going to do for this problem is just assume that the mass of the air is zero. It's not actually zero, but it's way less than the mass of all the iron in the safe, right? So we're just going to, we're just going to assume that's equal to zero. The next thing we have to do is figure out the mass of the iron in the safe. And what we know about the mass of the iron is the mass of the iron is really, it's, it's the density of the iron times the volume of the iron, right? So what the biggest part of this problem comes down to is finding what that volume of iron is, really. And so I'd just like to draw the safe uh, quickly here. So if I draw it like this, I'm just gonna draw the outside and here's the inside wall. And uh, the safe is a cube, right? It has uh, 1.2 meters on the outside, and it's 1.1 meters on the inside. Well, okay, so what is that volume? Like there's a there's a bunch of ways that you could you could try to figure it out, but we know it's a cube, right? So the the, the volume of the iron in the safe is the volume of the outside cube minus the volume of the inside cube. And that's divided by the total volume of the safe, right? Um, and so we can put some we can put some numbers in here. We know uh, the mass of iron is seven thousand eight hundred and seventy kilograms per meter cubed. I'm going to do something here that's called suppressing the units. Uh, so normally that I'd write units after this number, but you know when you're starting to do a complicated calculation, the units can really get in the way. Uh, so I'm just going to remember that they're in uh, kilograms per meters cubed, and then I'm going to put the units, I'm going to what's called restore the units at the end of the question. Um, but suppressing the units just to make our lives easy is a common thing. Uh, what's the outside volume of the safe? Uh, it's 1.2 meters cubed minus 1.1 meters cubed. And what's the total volume of the safe? Well, the total volume is 1.2 meters cubed, right? Um, what you'll notice is that nicely the meters cubed from the top and the meters cubed from the bottom cancel each other out, so we don't ever have to think about them. But the number I actually get when I do this is 1,810 kilograms per meters cubed. Okay, so that's the average uh, density of the safe, right? It, and you'll notice it's much less than, than the density of iron, right? Uh, so what are the other questions we have here? This, the second question asks us, um, if we change the dimensions of the safe, does, does the density change, right? Uh, would it change if we made the safe taller? Um, and and the, answer is, the answer is yes. I, and I guess the first way to think about it is what if we made the safe shorter? <laughs> well, we could make the safe just be like, so short that it has no inside, right? The inside is like the top meets the bottom and there's no inside. Well, and what's the density of this? Well, this is just a block of iron, right? So, so this has a density of iron, right? Zero. Um, 
if you make the safe super, 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 super tall, right, and something like this, of course, you're, you're adding more air into the middle, right? More air. Uh, up to a point, like if you go, if you make this safe infinitely big, there's going to be this set ratio between the air inside and the, the iron on the sides. But you can see that when you're adding more air in the middle, you're changing the average, the average density. Um, and the last question just has to do with, uh, uh, will it sink or float? And this will end up being a critical question um, for a lot of our calculations later on. Um, but this one's pretty easy. Uh, the, the density of the safe uh, was uh, 1810 kilograms per meters cubed. Uh, the density of water is 1000 uh, kilograms per meters cubed. Uh, 1,000 is a good enough estimate. We know it changes slightly with temperature, but you know we're just interested in really uh, an estimate of the number to compare. And we see that water, uh, the safe is more dense than water. So uh, density of safe is greater than the density of water. So the safe sinks. Great.